guys. Just want to come on here and do a video of some questions that people ask me um, through email and private messages and um, even in my comments. Um, so I'm just going to answer these for you guys now. Um, I get a lot of people ask me how do I stay so positive and bubbly and joyful and happy and do I get spiritual attacks and is my life so perfect on my walk? Um, first off, I get spiritual attacks. I get them just like the next guy. I get them. Uh, most of my spiritual attacks come from my own household. And um, I have a lot of faith in the Lord. A lot of faith. And when I go through these spiritual attacks, I don't lean on nobody other than the Lord. Um, and the one person that I confide into on this earth is my Stephen. Uh, he knows everything that goes on with me and my life. Um, but I don't confide in man for answers. And I know that we're here to encourage one another on our walks. But I take all my big, big, big problems that I know that man can't handle, and I give it all to the Lord. Um, that's what I do. That's how, that's how when I do go through these spiritual attacks, I feel so joyful and at peace, and I embrace it because I understand that it's all training, and He's teaching me. And I, I praise Him when I go through these spiritual attacks. And I understand that some attacks are just so hard. And I know each and every one of us go through different attacks. And I know it sounds so easy for somebody to say something like this to get somebody to understand it. But Jesus, when you really have him in your spirit and you go through these things, you give him all that, all that burden because his yoke is light and you have to truly believe that you have to feel it in your spirit that his word is truth his word is what sets us free so when you're getting attacked you know you got to find this place inside of your spirit where you're like oh everything is going to be so taken care of because you know my god is such an almighty god who has his word is all truth and that he's going to comfort me and he's going to calm my storms to a whisper. You know, he's going to he's going to fill me with this love and this joy throughout everything. We're to be glad continuously always, like continuously always. Yeah. We're that's what we're to be. We're to we're to be this joyful, cheerful people. You know, we shouldn't we sh when we get knocked down, we, we should have that strength through Jesus who is in us. Greater is he who is in you than he who is of the world. You know, greater is he who is in you. He will lift you up and get you through it. You can't, when you get attacked and you're going through all these, these troubles in your life, you have got to get, this is when you have got to get on your knees even more crying out to him. It's all a test. That's a test your faith to see how strong you are in, in your in your walk with the Lord. How strong your faith is in Him. That you put all of your trust in Him to get you through all of these troubles and these these trials that you go through, these persecutions. Um, we should be praising Him through the storm, you know, because it's molding you. He's molding you into this beautiful person um, who's just going to have no fear you know, who's going to, when all this stuff comes together around the world and it starts going on, you know, you're, these, this is why he teaches us through this. This is where he's getting us. He's getting us on our, on our walk with faith and trust and love in him. Because once we overcome that, when all the bad stuff starts coming upon this earth with, with these, uh, with the, like it talks about in the Bible with the, the, the tribulation and, and all this stuff and how, you know, with the governments, how we fight against the darkness and the rulers and the principalities and the governors, how we will be able to overcome all this when it comes to us in that day because we'll be strengthened, we'll be empowered by Christ to get us through all this stuff that that's coming and that is happening right now. And 
so many people are going to be caught off guard. They're not going to be ready spiritually because they're not understanding. They're not getting this teaching that, you know, you have got to physically or not only mentally prepare yourselves, but physically prepare yourselves for and mentally, physically, mentally, and spiritually, we have got to prepare ourselves for this troubling time that we're going through, these times that we live in. You know, they're, they're hard times, but those who endure to the end, blessed are those, you know, he's going to look out for his followers. He's going to be there hand and foot, picking us up, carrying us through this. He loves us so much, and this is, this is why... I am on YouTube is to encourage the Bride of Christ to encourage and lift up all of our spirits including myself. So I go back and I watch my videos and sometimes I'm like wow where did that come from I don't even remember saying that you know I watch my videos back and I'm like praise you Jesus because he's teaching me through me you know and that's that's what I want to do and that's what I was called to do was to encourage and you know that that's what I am. That's what I'm to do, is to encourage my brothers and sisters and get us through these times that we live in. So what I want to go into is if you're feeling that you're getting hit, slammed hard with these spiritual attacks, you're going to get through this on your faith in the Lord. You've got to have faith in the Lord. You've got to give Him everything. You've got to know your enemy to defeat your enemy. He's going to be sending you so many curveballs the closer you get with the Lord. Okay, he's going to send his wicked spirits out to taunt you all the time. And the only way you're going to get through that is through Jesus. You have got to pick up your sword. Ephesians 6 is so important. It's so important. You, you've got to rebuke these spirits. You've got to get rid of these spirits out of you through fasting and prayer. Um, you can't just... Pray for certain spirits to leave you. If, if they got a stronghold on you, say you got a spirit of anxiety or depression or fear and, and you just can't get rid of it, but you love Jesus, you're following Jesus and you and you know what's right and you're feeling like, why can't I just get right? Why can't I get this, this out of me? Why am I still like this? That's why Jesus gives a scripture. Like in Matthew, certain spirits you can only get rid of through fasting and a little tip, when you're fasting on that spirit, focus while you're fasting on that one spirit. Pray, deep prayer with the Lord for that one spirit to go away. Like say you have the spirit of anxiety. You've got to fast as long as he calls you to fast for. You'll know in your spirit when you take it to him and ask him, Lord, how should I fast for this? Can I have a confirmation? He will give it to you. You'll feel it in your spirit because He is. that's where he is. He's in our spirits. Greater is he who is in you. He is in us. He'll he'll lead you with your spirit. And you take that one thing and you pray deep prayer and you fast it until you feel that that burden being lifted off you. That's that spirit leaving you. When you do that and he will, he has your back. He wants this so badly for you. Take everything up to him. Everything. And he will set you free through all of these things and you'll start feeling lightness and you'll start feeling so jolly and refreshed and cheerful and it's just a wonderful feeling and this is what I do. I do this this stuff. I, I pray and I focus on one thing out of a t at a time with Father. I can't I don't bring all of it at one time to him because then I'm not focusing on the one issue. I'm focusing on all of it and that's just too much. So I take one thing at a time with him. And that's how he takes care of all of my problems and sets me on the solid foundation where I need to be with him in my walk. And that's why I'm so filled with love and joy even through all of the bad that goes on. He is the only way. Jesus is the only way. He's the only one who can set you free from all of these, these things that go on in your life. He is the only way. Jesus is the light. And you got to follow that light. We're to be like little moths to him. And just like following his little light. You know? Let Jesus grow in you. Let him just burst throughout your whole body. Let him overtake you. Trust in him. Give him everything that you're going through. He will pick you up. Okay? Be cheerful in this. 
And Jesus bless you. I love each and every one of you. And Jesus loves you most. The most. He loves you so much. Keep going. Keep going. You're going to win this. You're going to overcome all of these things that are going on through Jesus. I'm telling you. He's got a great adventure plan for you in your life. Trust him. Focus on scripture. Meditate on it. Love, faith, and trust in the Lord. And I'm telling you, you will feel so amazing. Your spirit will just be, it'll blossom. And you'll be this new person who you want to be. When you leave all of those spirits out of you, you got to rebuke them. You can do it. Keep going. I love you. God bless you.